Welcome to Movie Class by Pizza Flicks. Please stay tuned for today's program, but first, some tasty tidbits from your host. The year 1942, the world was at war. Former foes, the United States and the Soviet Union, joined forces against a common enemy. For President Franklin D. Roosevelt, this posed a public relations problem on the home front. Enter Lowell Mellett, the chief of the Motion Pictures Bureau in the OWI. Roosevelt sent Mellett on Operation Hollywood. His mission, enlist the big studios to produce movies celebrating America's wartime alliance with Russia. Jack Warner signed on with Mission to Moscow. Harry Kahn, the boy from Stalingrad. Louis B. Mayer, Song of Russia. And for the OG of Hollywood moguls, Samuel Goldwyn, there was the North Star. It would be the most expensive and controversial film of his career. At the 16th Academy Awards, the North Star received six nominations, notably Lillian Hellman, Best Original Screenplay, James Wong Howe, Best Cinematography, and Aaron Copeland, Best Music Score. But if you seek historical accuracy, don't expect to find it in a Hollywood movie. The North Star is no different, particularly in the idolized portrayal of the Ukrainian farming village at the film's center. Beginning in 1929, Joseph Stalin imposed the consolidation of individual land holdings into government-owned, large-scale agricultural collectives. The result was the worst man-made famine in the history of the world. Nowhere was this more devastating than in Soviet Ukraine, where 80% of the population had lived and worked on family-owned farms. It became known as Holodomor and historians believe up to seven million Ukrainians died of starvation. It is during this oppressive rule our movie begins on the eve of Operation Barbarossa, the Nazi invasion of the Soviet Union. There were some villagers that welcomed the German army with open arms, but Hitler was no liberator. young with the voice. You'll have to come back, Comrade Karp. Grandpa is still asleep. A new baby came to the hospital last night, and then Grandpa came home and did his writing. Good morning. That's not the way you say it. You say, a baby came into the bright world in the darkest part of the night. 
Don't talk so pretty. A new baby. Isn't that nice? What's nice about it? All right. I'll be back. You argue too much. Good morning, Grandpa. Uh, good morning, my head. You should not have worked all night. Mm, had a good night's work. Did a little writing. Feel better? Come and have breakfast now. What seems to be the trouble, Boris Stepanich? It'll take a better mechanic than I am to answer that. The patient is cured, Father. It's all right now. Hello, Comrade Cop. You ever been to Kiev? Of course. There was a pretty girl there who lost her head over me. Years ago. Oh, of course. Well, this is the last day of school. Tomorrow morning, we'll be on our way. It's our vacation, and we're going to Kiev on a holiday. Uh, that's a nice bus ride. Not for us. We're hiking. All the way? Well, of course. It'll only take us four or five days. Only. Marina is going? Yes, Marina and Claudia and Gracia, my brother. Unfortunately. Ah, uh, but Marina is the one who counts. Have you proposed? Or does one propose in these modern times? Good morning, Papa. Good morning. Doing, Marina? I'm baking honey cake for the trip. Cakes have to be baked now. You're not leaving until tomorrow. Well, it's hard at our age to remember how exciting a trip can be. The planning's half the fun. A long time ago, this is the way I wore my hair. Were you pretty, Mama, when you were young? I'm not so old, little one. Mama's pretty now, but she's not old. It's only that you're so young. I'm not so young. There are plenty who are younger. Yes, and there always will be. Sophia, when you go marketing, remind everybody to come and help with the loading of the trains. Tell them there'll be supper for all when the work is finished. I'll tell everybody. I'll tell everybody. May I, Papa? May I? I'll do it on my way to school. Please, may I? May I? All may right, I you know? tell them. I will said there'll be supper for everybody. Yes. I'll say there'll be music and singing. I'll say there'll be dancing. And I'll say there'll be cider for old people and food drinks for children. You might also remember to say there will be work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I'll say that too. Everybody must work, I'll say. No pancakes? You know what else the comrade commander said to me? You have my permission not to tell me. Eat pancakes, that's what he said. It has been recently discovered that pancakes are fine for a bombardier's nerves. Not to interest you, Damian. You're going to be a doctor. Doesn't interest me. Don't worry with those maps, Damian. I know all the roads. And when we get to Kiev, I will show you and your little friends all there is to see. Me and my little friends are still young. A visit to Kiev is something that doesn't happen to us every day. And don't patronize us about it. Be a man of the world in front of your mirror. It's better that way. Mirrors don't talk back. <laughs> hmm? Most men in the world feel pleased when they have sons. I wonder why. I told you years ago, two quiet little girls would have been very nice. Well, you can't change us now, and you wouldn't if you could. Two healthy, brilliant, handsome sons. <laughs> June 20th, 1941, 8 a.m., broadcasting from Moscow. Be still, both of you. German troop movements are reported on the Polish border. German troop movements are reported on the Polish border. Their nature is unknown. Reports reach us of a typhus epidemic in the German-occupied city of Warsaw. London was bombed twice last night by the Luftwaffe. In the Polish city of Lodz, 112 Polish children died this morning as a result of being made to give blood transfusions to German wounded. Children taking blood Here's a report from a reliable source in... Bye, sweetheart. Bye, baby. Bye, Papa. 
Bye, Mom. Bye, dear. Come on, Club D, you'll be late. You're my brother, not my guardian. Mind your business. Good morning, Claudia. Good morning, Marina. You're early. Oh, you know I never eat breakfast. <gasps> you always look so clean. And you're no cleaner than I am. Maybe not as clean. And your hair is curly. Your hair looks nice. Oh, it's the straightest wheat. Then don't try to console me. Well, well. The last day of school is a happy day. Even I remember. Oh, no. No? I'm very sorry it's the last day. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My first words will be to congratulate our three pupils in the last class who have all been awarded scholarships to the State University of Kiev. One of those three has taken the highest marks of any pupil of this year's senior graduating class. He is Dimyan Tarasov. It is not my custom to start your vacation with a lecture. But this is the summer of 1941, a solemn time. No one of us knows what will happen. I don't have to remind you that we are people with a noble history. You are expected to carry on that history with complete devotion and self-sacrifice. I think you'll do that. And now, have a happy summer. I wish we weren't having this supper tonight. Oh, goodness knows, I usually love it, but, but it interferes, really, with the trip, if you know what I mean. Too many good things at once. Mm. I felt it, too. I didn't want anything to happen, just the trip, nothing else. Oh, well, we really won't celebrate tonight. We just eat supper and act like it was any other evening, and we were home with the family. You know what? I'm not going to sing tonight. Even if everyone asks me, I won't sing. And don't you sing, either. <laughs> Sorry. 
Collier says we'll go to the theater when we get to Kiev. All we have to do is apply for the tickets. We'll have three whole days in Kiev. We shall see everything. Oh, it's been a good year. Scholarship to the university, of course, means the most. There was a medal for marksmanship, and, and now this vacation. We'll be separated for a year. You'll be getting a scholarship the following year. What is this year I'm thinking about? That's a long time. I don't think it is, at our age. You don't think so? How strange. What are you saying, Marina? Nothing. I don't want to talk about it. It's odd you don't think a year away from me is a long time. It doesn't worry you? No. All right. You don't have to keep saying it over and over. Are you sure you feel about me as you used to? I don't like this talk. It, it's bad. It's only natural It's not I natural at all. It's not like you. I've loved you since I was old enough to see you. I will love you until I die. It's the way it is, and there's no need to talk about it. You mean you'll never talk about it? You'll never tell me? I'll tell you in my own time, but I'll not tell you to waste time. Look here, Marina. You and I are, are like one person. But I always thought you wanted both of us to be educated. And... I didn't mean that. Of course I want you to go to the university. Of course. It would make me sad if you didn't and ashamed. But it wouldn't matter. I'd go anyway. I'm a citizen of this country. I intend to go forward with it and, and to give it all I have. I have strong feelings about it. You come along with those feelings. You don't come before them. I understand. I feel the same way for myself. For both of us. I was being foolish. I only wanted to be with you. I'm proud you got the scholarship, of course. You'll be a great man. And the whole district will be proud of you. You'll have medals. I think we'll go to the theater every night. That's too old. We'll grow old together. And I'll be a beautiful old woman. And very kind. Oh. Sure of it. My grandchildren will love me. And you will too, more than ever. 
What's wrong with that? Plenty of people grow old together and have a fine life behind them. I didn't say there was anything wrong with it. I should buy baby dresses and keys. For whom? For our first... For our grandchildren. Oh. You'll, um... You'll put the dresses away for a while. Yes, of course, that's what I mean. should go over all the plans for our journey to you. Don't you think, Cordy? I don't need to plan to get up and get dressed and eat my breakfast. I know how to do that. I'm getting tired of hearing you children talk about this trip. I'm only going because Father made me. Oh. Well, I thought it was because... Well, because... Me? I mean us. Don't you like us? No. What's the matter with you, Claire, dear? I have a choking sensation in my chest. You eat too much. You usually do. It's not at all that. It's my emotions in the chest. <laughs> Claudia, you're a throwback. What's that? What do you mean? Somebody who doesn't belong to their own time. Ours is a new world, Claudia. You don't belong in it. Oh, I see. You mean I'm rather old-fashioned. And romantic, rather. Yeah. No. I've told you, you cannot come along. I'm always too young. I'm too young for everything. Well, someday, when everybody else is too old for everything, you'll be just old enough. <laughs> <laughs> take care of the puppy. I'll bring everybody a present. Don't get your feet wet. And take care of yourself. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. 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 <laughs> 
<laughs> Goodbye. The first time we have ever been separated, Grandpa. It's only for a short time. Good morning. Good morning. Clumsy in the body of those clumsy in the head. You wait, Grandpa, and I'll... Oh, I'm going to kill you, nasty little thing. I'm going to kill you. Drink your milk, Claudia. You will now find it more comfortable to get up. Goodbye, Father. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Seven times last night you said goodbye. We'll be back soon. We'll try to get along without you. Well, goodbye. Oh, Mother. <laughs> we'll be back soon. Oh, have a good time, son. We'll miss you. John. <laughs> Demian! Coming! Good journey, Marina. Good journey. Good journey! 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 Good morning, Kolya. Good morning. Hello. Good morning, good morning, good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Club. <laughs> What's the matter with you? With your face? You look so foolish. Well, you never said good morning to me before. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Paulia. Good morning. I don't like guns, Paulia. Then don't have one. I don't like the noise they make. Who does? Why are you carrying it? If you look at me, Claudia, you will see that I'm in uniform. Men in uniform carry guns. Uniform, Air Force, Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. Remember now? <laughs> oh, you're teasing me. Well, don't play with that gun, please. I intend to use it. When we're near the end of the trip, I intend to kill someone and leave their carcass for the hawks. You want to help? Oh, no. No, I will stop you. I will sacrifice myself. Oh, I couldn't stand to think of you lying in jail, a murderer, tortured with conscience. Oh, Kolya. I've got to kill him. But who? Dimyan. <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks of you, child, is going to be a long, long time. If I eat too much jam, mother, look how young I am. Mother, dear, please recall that at one time you were small. If I'm hard on my clothes and I do not wipe my nose, parents, dear, please recall that at one time you were small. Tiddly-um, 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 tum 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 We're the younger generation and the future of the nation. If I look as I pass into every looking glass, parents mine, have no fear, just go back some twenty years. If I stay out of doors and don't help with kitchen chores, parents mine, have no fear, just go back some twenty years. Tilly um, tilly um, tilly um, tum 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 tum. We're the younger generation and the future of the nation. If to school I am late, please don't school and agitate. Parents, dear, isn't it true? One time you were that way too. If I make too much noise and I hit back at the boys, parents, dear, isn't it true? One time you were that way too. Tilly um, tilly um, tilly um, tum 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 tum. We're the younger generation and the future of the nation. Parents, dear, use your tact. If you don't like how we act, do not fret, do not mourn. Is it our fault we were born? Please forgive all we do, for someday we'll suffer too. When in turn we will groan at some children of our own. Tiddly um, tiddly um, tiddly um, tum 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 tum. We're the younger generation and the future of the nation. Ha, 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 ha. 
Don't your feet hurt? In the army, your feet learn to stop hurting. I told you young athletes not to walk so far and so fast the first day. Make a fire. We must have a fire. A fire is so romantic. We must have a fire. Otherwise, we can't sit around and dream. Maybe it would be better to kill you. All men make noises when they sleep. I don't know. I never listen to all men. <laughs> <laughs> like having good feet. My feet are not good. They're much too small. Everybody knows that. I think we should walk. You can't go on a walking trip and take a ride. Who made up that law? It's not a law. It's just, well, it's, it's not romantic. I see. You and Marina walk. We men will ride. Would you ride while I walk? <laughs> Darling Marina, I'm not making you walk. But would you let me walk while you rode? The brightest of women are not bright. I'm learning that. We are women. Different things go on in our heads. That's what makes us attractive. You coming? You're quite certain you want me. <laughs> <laughs> Fine marriage yours will be. Boss you and then laugh at you. Oh, come on, Claudia. When you don't stand by your convictions, you set back the cause of all women everywhere in the world. She's an interesting type, Claudia. Like a piece in a museum. Excuse me, but there's no village like mine. 
smell so nice now that the sun is out. And who does? Son. Is that an old saying, Clark? What's wrong with the sun? Tell me what you mean. I don't know. But you feel it too. Stop that singing, please! What's the matter with you? Why shouldn't we sing? Because I've been hearing something. You've been hearing your own head. A witch. I hear it. I've been hearing it for an hour. But I don't know. Sometimes I hear things from other years. Sometimes I even forget what year it is. 1914, 1915. Or 1941. What are you carrying on about? We can all hear it. They're planes. You ought to know what planes sound like. There are many planes, and they're not far from here. <laughs> can we have an Air Force while you're on leave? You should have let Grandpa examine your head. Maybe there's something wrong inside. Whoa! Immediately. We're being bombed. Understand that quickly. Get out of your wagons and get into the ditch immediately. Leave the horses. Get in the ditch. I don't we believe can't it. Leave the horses. I intend to use this gun on anybody who isn't in that ditch a second or I don't know yet. I don't think he... Let me. No. You take a drink of water, child. Both of you. 
close your eyes and take my arm. The face of war is ugly, and not for the young. We're not young anymore. It's the first time in my life I haven't been hungry. Oh, yesterday we were home and everybody in the... One day you're home and the next day... The next day, here you are. Last week, the little boy was in the store with his mother. I met them there. He had a ball and he was bouncing it with his left hand. I remember because I noticed he was left-handed. I wondered what it felt like to be left-handed. I know. There he is without his left hand. Without the hand that bounced the ball. Oh, I shouldn't be talking this way. I know it. You're all ashamed of me. You are what you are, Claudia. It is my opinion that the trouble in the world comes from people who don't know what they are. Pretend to be something they're not. Come on, Claudia. I'll watch your face. Dirty. Go back. It's over. There's nothing to do. How do you feel? I always wanted to know how the doctor felt. <laughs> and I'm very glad to have a patient. People around here are too healthy. You like your baby? Oh, she's very ugly. Like her father. <laughs> and beautiful. armies of the German Reich invaded the Soviet Union this morning. I will repeat. The German armies crossed the border of the Soviet Union this morning. The attack was made with unprecedented fury. But our land will be defended with a fury the fascist armies have never known. To the border villages. Salute, comrade. The war has come.
Comrades, we have good reason to know that our country is at war. In our small village alone, 30 people have been injured. 11 people have been killed. But this is not a time for mourning. It is time for revenge. We will divide into two groups, each to do his duty from this day until death. The able-bodied men are to come forward to the right of this building. We will move from the village to the hills and take our position as guerrillas. I will go immediately to Comrade Commander Petrov's garrison to get the guns. The second group has the hardest job. They must stay behind. As guerrillas, we must have aid and information. As villagers, you must, before the entrance of the Germans, destroy everything. Everything, comrades. The houses you have built, the crops you have sowed with your hands, the cattle you have raised. The Germans are not more than 50 miles away. Yours is the dangerous job. For this job, you will volunteer. It is you who may have to live with the the Germans. I, who am about to become a guerrilla fighter of the Soviet Union, I take this solemn oath. I, who am about to become a guerrilla fighter of the Soviet Union, I take this solemn oath. I will not lay down these arms until the last fascist is driven from our land. I will not lay down these arms until the last fascist is driven from our land. I am willing to give my life to die in battle to keep my people from fascist slavery. I am willing to give my life to die in battle to keep my people from fascist slavery. You know where we'll be. One of us will come every night to the pine grove. Remember, we'll need supplies and information. It's our land, our village. We remember we fought another war to make them ours. We swear to give our lives if they be needed. We, we swear! swear. Good. Now, just a moment. These reports show the Germans rapidly advancing across our territory. By nightfall, there won't be a highway free of their guns, their tanks, and their supply trucks, all going to the front. Remember, you've a good 40 miles to travel. 
Your best chance is to take to the back road. That'll take too long. I'll have to take a chance on the highway. We need that ammunition bad and quick. I'll get the truck through. You can count on it. Good. Comrade Carp is going to take my place. My duty is to report to the nearest airfield. So gather around, listen closely, and I'll show you what I think is your only chance to get back to the village. The Germans must have crossed the river at the upper bend. And... Get down, everybody! Get the guns out. Save the guns. Get them out. Get these boxes out. <laughs> We'll take it back. Say hello to, to your mother for me. That's all of it. I'll say goodbye now. Travel at night and stick to the woods. When you get to the upper crossroads, you'll oh, see a little... what about you? You said the Germans had crossed the river. How can you get to the airfield? I'll get through all right. Now, do your best. Don't be frightened. Fear is a bad enemy. Or so people have told me. Back, lovely. We'll do the best we can, that's all. Tell Mother that... Grisha. Goodbye, Collier. Look after them, Carl.
25 years ago, we fought and died for this earth. People go forward. They fight for themselves and make things better for themselves. More food, a good bed, jokes to make and time to laugh. Then the filthy come and try to stop it. They want to take away from people all the good they've made for themselves. Well, then you take your gun and you fight until you've killed all such. Ready, comrades? Yes, yes comrades. Comrade. We're ready. to occupy the North Star village. How big is this village? Not big. We're only taking 125 men to hold it. We're ordered to establish regimental field hospital at the village North Star Head. Field hospital in a village dispensary. How can I take care of all these men and more to come? The order says that more ambulances and doctors will be sent to us. I don't want doctors. I need surgeons. The Colonel has forgotten me. I am a surgeon. A surgeon is a man who can operate. Dr. Richter, I have not forgotten. Dr. Richter, where did you take your medical training? Freiburg, as I've told the Colonel many times before. <laughs> that was a good school. I must beg the Colonel's pardon. With respect to the Colonel's superior rank and reputation, I must beg the Colonel's pardon and do say... Do not beg my pardon so often, Dr. Richter. Good manners do not make a good surgeon. It's well known, of course. The Colonel studied at the University of Leipzig. In the great days, I was a pupil of Friedenthal. His most famous pupil. Friedenthal, the Jew? Yes, Friedenthal, the Jew. The Colonel did not mind his being a Jew? Mind? I never thought about it in those days. It must be pleasant to be so sure of oneself. I should like to think I was as good as the Colonel thinks he is. <laughs> the day you think you're as good as I am, Dr. Richter, I will know that you're suffering from delusions of grandeur, and I shall commit you to an asylum. Trust me, Dr. Richter. Give their lives, we give what is life to us.
another burning village. Speed up. Speed up. Quite different, isn't it, Dr. Richard? The army of the Third Reich didn't see burning villages on its pleasant tour through Western Europe. This amuses the colonel? No. Danger doesn't amuse me. I only state facts. A strong people, one has always heard that. A hard people to conquer. responsible for the burning and destruction in this village. Where are the younger men? They burned it and have tried to escape. Is that correct? been burned down? It is not bad. We caught it. Carry in the casualties immediately and get the operative cases ready for me. At your order, Colonel. The chairman of the Soviet of this collective farm is called Rodion Pavlov. Is he here? Where is his family? I wish these questions answered. You have already, by the burning of this village, shown yourselves to be enemies of the German army. We punish our enemies severely. Where is the wife of Rodion Pavlov? I am the wife of Rodion Pavlov. Come forward. I wish to know where your husband is hiding. How many men he is with him, and how much ammunition? Yes? I cannot answer those questions. You are certain that you will not answer? I am certain. Take her inside. Wagner.
Schwein! Schwein! If I am a doctor, they will bring her out. Her right arm and her right leg will be broken. You should advise your people to give information when it is asked for. You are a doctor, and you are able to. In this new order of ours, we have to countenance and commit many acts one does not necessarily approve of. and Grisha hitch the horse. I can show what I tell you. If anything goes wrong, then we'll drive away. Don't wait. Just drive. The horses. Quick. Hitch the horses.
try to sleep. I'll watch. Planes? It's hard to tell. You get some sleep now, dear. Everything sounds like planes to me. I think of Dimyon and the children. Wherever they are. And Kolya. You were quiet for you. I haven't had any sleep for 30 hours. I've been on four bombing trips today. You're my fifth. How did you do? Oh, I always do well. I got two planes, a little line of supplies, got some big guns near the river. Well, get ready to do it again. We'll be over them in three minutes. We'll see how good you are. <laughs> oh, I'm good. You must have heard about me. Your first flight, son? This is my first flight in the war, Granddaddy. I was at home on leave. Well, don't get cheeky about it. I'll bring you through. He talks that way. I've been flying with him for years. I'm used to it. I can blow those supply trucks. What are you saying? Save your bombs. This will make a good strapping job. We're going down. We got left and I'll have you on the ground in 10 minutes. We're badly clipped in the back. It's worse than I thought. If you crawl to the back, I'll let you know when to bail out. No, never. Never been frightened, I mean. Maybe there's something the matter with me. All right, crawl back now. If you can't open the hatch, I'll do it for you. This plane's too bad to land. I'm gonna try something else. It doesn't need more than one man to do it. Now, don't argue and sound brave and be a nuisance. I can do it alone. Get ready to jump. Well, you'd never have made it anyway. Well, get ready for it. This is going to be for my father, and for me, and for my village, and for people I've never seen. Those are big words. I guess I'll have to stand by them now. I'm coming down. And it's going to hurt you. And I'm coming down just where I want to. Because I was a good bombardier and a good pilot, too.
children were given their supper at the hospital tonight. Good, then, isn't it? It was a good supper. I saw it. Why did they do that? And nothing but bad bread. What, what, Anna? The children are still at the hospital. In the hall, on the benches, I saw them. The supper was over long ago. Michigan Sony went in there and Down! 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 Take this man out. Put him under arrest. Do not be so nervous, Captain Lister. You are well guarded in this room from the feeble attacks of an old man. Dismissed. After you, Dr. Curran. I realize that this is difficult for you to understand. But our plasma supply was insufficient. So we have to take blood for our wounded where we can get it and where the donor is easiest to control. I was looking at your hospital library today. I'd forgotten that Kurin, the pathologist, was a Russian. Strange to find you in this little village. You came to the University of Leipzig to read your paper. Must have been 30 years ago. I was a student, of course, and not allowed to hear you. But I remember it. Cigarette? And it's said that men of medicine see all that can happen to people. I'm an old man, and I have seen much. But how can a doctor bring himself to not only take blood from children, but to bleed them oh, white? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Help. May I? Of course. Dr. Van Harden, do you mean that you're not having this man arrested? If you wish to be a warrior, Captain Richter, you must take chances with your life. Dr. Curran is a famous man of science. He's not a man who kills. And therefore, no danger to us. to be recognized. The Keechins boy. You recognize them, Karma. Take me to Rodian.
20 trucks. Now start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten seconds, and here they come. Twenty trucks, then ten seconds. Eight motorcycles in fifteen seconds. And more trucks, without end. Yes, that's the track. Carp hasn't seen these hills for ten years, but he remembered them as if we'll go straight through without stopping, and we'll be there. We'll have done our work. Yes. Your face has changed. And yours? It's tired and hungry. You read about hunger, but you don't understand how bad it is until it happens to you. If Carp and I can keep awake, nothing else will matter. I can do some of the driving. Not this time. We'll be climbing. It'll be hard. You'll sleep on my shoulder. That'll make me feel good, sure of myself. Could I, Marina? I... I've never... Could I? I'm going through the woods, to this side. As a group of motorcyclists come around this turn, I'm going to fire at them. That'll stop the column. You will be ready here. As the firing starts, you will take the wagons across the road. The firing will cover the noise, and they'll not be watching for you. They'll be busy with me. I hope. Two people were there to fire. One more place and one another. There'd be a better chance for you. I'm coming with you. It's not for us to talk of what's best for one of us. You needed to take home the guns. It's what you must do and what you will do. When you hear the firing, go across. When it's over, I'll meet you on the hill by the Calpe. On the hill by the Calpe. Right, Marina. It's the only way. now. When you hear the firing, go across as fast as you can. And remember to leave room for me to cross next to you. Grisha, where's Claudia? She's gone. She went after Demian. I saw her. Grisha, why didn't you? I must go find her. You must not go after her. You must let her alone. I saw her face.
Grandpa. Um, oh, somebody, help me. Make me do something right, the way everybody else does. Keep me from being so frightened. Keep me from crying. Please. There are only two... Don't go, Marina. Wait a few more minutes. Dead kid and the fat girl. All right, signal to them to go on. The dangerous enemy has been dealt with. I'm going. Stay here.
of wounds on him. Clavdi. It's me, it's Marina. In cap. Clavdi. Cla Where is she? Clavdi. Over the Yulgino Hills. How much longer? Not much more. What time is it? About five o'clock. Five o'clock. In the morning or, or in the afternoon? <laughs> But they are your children, and they're being bled to death. Why, the whole village will be. Our time has come to fight. It does no good for me to lie. Men with rocks and clubs are not good against machine guns. Now, there'll be five men to a gun. You know it, and I'll say it. This may be the last time we ride down a hill. What do you say? All right, saddle your horses. Take up your watch at the Pine Grove. And when Boris gets here with the guns, rush him down to the North Cornfield. Pray that he arrives in time. The selected men dismount. I rest of you, wait here until you see the gas aflame, and then ride to the schoolyard and ride fast. Barricade it as soon as you get in. You know the plan. Each group knows what to do. Now let's do it.
And now for the gasoline. Right, let's keep it pouring. Mom. Mom. 
to talk to Van Hart. I'll only be a minute, Doctor. Sulfonidamide. Come in, Doctor Curry. You do not like Dr. Richter. I do not like incompetent doctors. I do not like much of what I have done for the past nine years. You do not like bleeding children to their death. Did the boy die? You knew he would die. They took too much blood. I'm sorry for that. Yes, I believe you when you tell me you're sorry. I'm sorry for many things, Dr. Curran. Most sorry that it isn't the world we used to. I have heard about men like you, the civilized men, who are sorry. This, this kind is nothing. They will go when their bosses go. But men like you, who have contempt for men like him, to me, you are the real filth. Men who do the work of fascists while they pretend to themselves that they are better than the beasts for whom they work. Men who do murder while they laugh at those who order them to do it. It is men like you who have sold their people to men like him. You see, Dr. Von Harden, you were wrong about many things. I am a man who kills. I feel you need this thing. I like it. We will come home someday. I want to sew again. And you will want to write your book again. We're not so old. They tell me you were very brave, Grandpa. Well, why not, child? I'm of the same blood as you and Claudia. Gone. There'll be another someday. Yes. It'll be different for us. Wars don't leave people as they were. All people will learn that and come to see that wars do not have to be. We'll make this the last war. We'll make a free world for all men. The earth belongs to us, the people, if we fight for it. And we will fight for it. 